Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to discuss how I style my planner and I use a variety of decor and accessories to customize my planner and uh, I'd like to give you an example and some ideas and what you can do with your planner. Okay, so as we open up into the planner, you can see that there is a lot of decor in my planner. On the left hand side, I call this my wall of inspiration. I've used the credit card slots that are down the left hand side to just add my journaling cards in those slots just to give myself so much inspiration you know as we go through many different areas in our lives we just need some inspiration and I love being able to have my inspiration in my planner when I because I use my planner and I work out of this on a daily basis also you'll see that I have just some stickers that I'm using and although this can be very aesthetic it's also very functional for me and I, I use these stickers uh, quite a bit throughout my planner uh, and uh, and I also have been able to use cloth and papers thank you cards and they come with some of the most beautiful photos on the front of their thank you cards and I just add those right into my planner just to give me some some more decor in my planner and I love how that looks next you'll see that there is, on the right hand side, there are a few different things going on here. Uh, first, I have my Ollie clip that's on the very top of this credit card holder. And I have some more journaling cards that are clear and they add that added decor in there as well. And what I have done is I have layered the crystal clear inbox. I just took the thank you cards that I received from cloth and paper and I added that to give me that layered effect along with some functional sticky notes that I'm using in my planner and when I usually layer this top credit card holder it just really creates a nice layered look and I enjoy that quite a bit. And if you are new to my channel, let me just say welcome and thank you to all of my subscribers and viewers. I uh, put out my first video last uh, month and uh, it got so many different views. And so I just wanna say thank you for that. All right, so moving right along, you can see that um, I have dashboards under my clear dividers. Uh, I have both the Girl Gang dividers from Cloth and Paper and the CEO dividers. Right now, I am using the Girl Gang dividers. And again, they are clear, uh, just frosted, I think on the other side, but clear where you're able to buy dashboards to include in your planner. And you can completely um, customize this to your likings. Um, I like to have double layers in my planner. So you'll see that I have a few different dashboards here that I have included. And then going right into my yearly section, I have a dashboard that I use for my year at a glance. And also in my second subsection for my schedule is my monthly dashboard. And this is just has an inspirational quote. It's very minimal, just so I can, it allows me to see right through to my overview, my monthly overview. And I have this, just to go right over it, just to add that nice touch. And then my next subsection, which is my daily section, 
also has a dashboard uh, that says I am the architect of the days that haven't happened yet. And this is a very beautiful dashboard. I think it's very fitting for my daily section. And this is what I use there. And in my routine section, which is another, my final subsection, I use the world clock dashboard, which I, again, think that this fits very nicely with a routine section just showing the clocks there. So that's just a nice added piece there that I love. Okay. Also throughout the routine section, I do have another dashboard that's just a laundry guide. Uh, and I've used that to complement my cleaning routine. And this is a very nice dashboard. It's velvet filling in the material, and um, it just kind of adds a nice little touch to your planner. So moving right into my socialite section, I this is where I do my event planning. Um, you can see here that I have a layered dashboard here. I've layered two dashboards using uh, that I'm using under this clear divider so it says people romanticize their plans but dread the execution the magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding and as you can see that this is layered with just a decorative piece here and and then I also hole punched one of the thank you cards and I just again you see how nice that looks there I just added that to go right into this section and it just really complements that section giving me another layer of decor and then I have an additional dashboard that says work in progress this helps separate my section from my my um, projects that I have in progress and so I just added a little sticky note on there just to give it a little bit more decor. And I also hole punched this thank you card, uh, which again is very beautiful and just added that for another layer of decoration into my planner on top of the dashboard. And next that takes us right into my inspiration section. And here you can see that I have another layered look. I love layering my dashboard, so you're gonna see that throughout. Uh, this one says the perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after the other. And I have layered this one along with one of their decorative style dashboards, and that just gives a nice layered look. And then I also use this changes dashboard for my habit tracker section. And if you'd like to see a full flip through of my planner, please see the link below. It will show you um, my entire planner in detail. Uh, I do give a, a detailed overview of how I set up my planner and how I use it. So if you're interested, please click on the link below and take a look at my video. And next that brings us right into the Girl Gang section. Girl Gang section is really all about me. And uh, so it's gonna be everything about my emotional wellness, my health and wellness, uh, my spiritual wellness, my personal section. So everything in Girl Gang is gonna be completely focused and centered around me. And you can see here that I have a morning mindset dashboard that helps with getting me focused in a, in a positive mindset. I've included that in the front. I also have the Atelier dashboard, which is very nicely paired with this decorative style. And it just adds another layer there and it looks really nice. Next, you'll see that in my travel section, I have um, the travel, travel dashboard and I've layered it and paired it together with this roadmap here. 
and that creates a nice layered look there. And this is for my travel section. Also, another thank you card from Cloth and Paper. And so I just hole punched that and added it into my planner. And next, my next dashboard is my boss dashboard and it is very beautiful. This is a velvet material and I just keep this in my nutrition and, and health section of my planner and so this is really nice there. And also I've added another thank you card that I've hole punched from cloth and paper and just added that in there for some more decoration. And again, hole punching thank you card. And here's another uh, dashboard that I use to separate my meal planning section from my recipes. And next you'll see that this takes me right into my emotional wellness. And this dashboard is absolutely beautiful. This is one of their more recent dashboards. The What you have the capacity to do is not contingent upon how someone sees you. It is contingent upon how you see yourself. I absolutely love this one. And it just stands alone. Next, this dashboard is my visionary dashboard and it serves in my spiritual wellness. And so um, usually when I'm studying, uh, I usually um, use this section for my faith and inspiration. Moving right along. This is my recommendation section. So I just used one of the, it looks like a word map almost, uh, but it's uh, just a very decor decorative uh, dashboard using letters. And I put that in my recommendation section and in my intellectual section where I do my reading and I log that reading. I've used one of their newer dashboards and this is in the form of like a paragraph and I've added a sticker there just to give it some more added decor and that serves in my intellectual section. Next that brings us into my finance section which is titled Moolah and uh, I've used the iconic uh, dashboard to pair with the money sign or dollar sign if you will. Uh, so that that pairs nicely and gives me a nice layered look. And in my finance section, I also have another inbox in here. It's mostly uh, just for functionality. I have included my inbox sticky notes here along with just another uh, decorative sticky note that you can jot down quick reminders. And I also have the grit dashboard. This is a beautiful dashboard where you can feel the grittiness on the paper. And um, I have used this section to go in my saving section and um, I love this dashboard. It's one of the newer ones that have just come out. And moving right along into my miscellaneous section uh, in Girl Gang, it's called Your What Evs. And here I just have the gratitude dashboard and I have paired this dashboard with just one of their photo um, dashboards and it just pairs very nicely and there 
there we go. And that concludes my planner video. Uh, I've also, in the back pocket, just put some additional thank you cards there. Again, they have the most beautiful um, cards that have beautiful photos on them that you can really just add to your planner and, and just add that added layer of decor. I've also, um, again, I have my pen in here, and this is how I customize my planner to uh, give me that sophistication, that aesthetic, you know, and, and also, it's also functional for me. So I love cloth and paper. I'll have a link below showing you how, um, with all the inserts that I've used here, the dashboards, um, journaling cards, and um, everything that's included in this video, I'll also link that below. Until next time, thanks for watching and be blessed.